morning students today i am going to explain you about the subject science 2 that is the topic name is heredity and evolution so today we are going to study exactly what is heredity and evolution in that sub topic we are going to see that is evidences of evolution so what is the meaning of exactly evolution evolution is nothing but we can say a gradual changes which is occurring in living organism day by day on the earth right so that is nothing but evidences of evolution the sub topic it is coming evidences of evolution in that sub points are there we can say that is morphological evidences second is anatomical evidences and the third is vestigial organs so this is the sub topic we can see that is it is coming in evidences of evolution so first topic that is morphological evidences so exactly i will explain you what is exactly morphology so morphology is nothing but we can say study of external part of any living organism is known as morphology means what happens whenever we are studying any external part of any living organism we can say plants animals we human being so that is nothing but we can say morphological evidences so here i given you the example that is plants and animals part like plant have different types of leaf shape so what we are going to see here the different shapes of leaves it is given so what is that well first i give you that diagram it is a petiole petiole it is nothing but where, wherever the leaves we are plucking that part is nothing but it is a petiole so this is the external part we are studying of the leaves right next thing we are going to see the another leaf part it is having different shape we can say in each and every leaf we can say student different variations are there here in this leaf different variation is there here also different variation and in this leaves also right so this is nothing but the variation part it looks in each and every leaves different different shapes are there so by this we come to know that each and every leaves are having different types of variations and we can say different petioles are also present so this is nothing but we can say morphology of plants we can say right next thing we can see if animals animals are having different parts and the position positions that is we can say eyes nose tongue ears their position is same but the appearance how they look that is the different thing so that is also we can say morphology we are coming to study in that we come to know that is they are coming from the their ancestors so that is nothing but morphological evidence this is the concept it is called as a morphological evidences are you getting next thing that is second sub topic it is called as anatomical evidence so what is the meaning of exactly anatomy anatomy is nothing but you can say study of internal part of any living organism is called as anatomical study means student when we whenever we are studying any internal structure of any organism so that is nothing but you can say anatomy like example if i will give you whenever you are studying the part of bones whatever the bones it is present inside the body part so that is nothing but anatomy so here example it is given study of bones like human hand here the different shapes it is given so if you will observe this shape it looks in a different way for you can say human being it is having different shape for animals it is looking in a different way so that is the internal structure of the bones you can say from this we come to know that each and each and every living organism have different part of study internal structure so that is nothing but you can say anatomical evidence so this is the second part we have seen the proof of evidences of evolution next thing vestigial organ now this is the new concept exactly what is vestigial organ vestigial organ is nothing but degenerated or underdeveloped part of any organism is nothing but vestigial organ means what exactly what happens vestigial means you can say degenerated or underdeveloped part means it is not having any function in our body if it is growing so it doesn't have any use you can say it is functionless so that is nothing but vestigial organ it doesn't have any use at all so here i given the example appendix wisdom teeth and tail box bone that is so here i drawn the diagram exactly appendix appendix is nothing but it is the organ which is present in each and human being 
So what happens whenever the size of appendix it grows, it creates problem in our body to survive to any organism. So what happens when this bones grow? So what happens? It create problem. So that's why the person they are doing the operation of appendix. So it is you can say vestigial organ because it doesn't have any use in the body part. So this is the shape I drawn. That is the appendix, and this is also called as a vestigial part. Next thing here I draw the diagram of wisdom teeth. Wisdom teeth is what exactly? It is growing in any part of the teeth or extra teeth. So what happens? It doesn't have any use. So that is called as a wisdom teeth. So it is also coming in vestigial organ. Next thing here it is given ear muscle. So what happened? In ear to ear vena there is the ear muscle. When it grows, so what the person do? They do the operation of that because it is also functionless and it don't do any any provide the function in the body part. So that is the ear muscle. So this is all are the vestigial part which doesn't have any use or you can say functionless it is. Next thing here it is given the next diagram that is a tailbone. Tailbone basically what happens when the bone size it grows in a longer way. So it create a problem. It doesn't have any function. So even it is also called as a caucus. So it create a problem and it, it, it does not survive in the living organism in a well way. So that is also you can say vestigial organ. So this is the third concept we have seen up to vestigial organ. It doesn't have any use. Okay. Thank you everyone.